Andrew Moore Crispin here at E3 2010. Now, 3D gaming seems to be a, kind of a big story here at uh, E3. Do you guys happen to have anything that's 3D? We did. We made a little, a couple of announcements of our own. We're bringing uh, some of our most exciting franchises to a 3D, 3D gameplay environment, like a Gran Turismo 5, like a Killzone 3. Um, and I think once you really get your gla the glasses on and uh, experience it for yourself, you'll be sold. Right, so now, so basically the PS3 is 3D ready. It is, We need yeah. a 3D ready TV. And you said that there was uh, several in the Sony line. Yeah, there's a few. Uh, certainly our friends at Sony Electronics are bringing out a variety of different Sony uh, ready 3D TVs. I believe they're on the shelf today. Um, and with uh, when you actually purchase one, you get a voucher for, I think there's some movie content in there as well. But there's four games you can actually download. Wipeout HD that's available right now for 3D. Uh, Super Stardust HD is also available for 3D. Pain, I believe. And the last one is uh, Motorstorm Pacific Rift. There's a bit of a demo there in 3D as well. So you get a sense of racing. You get a sense of kind of a couple different genres. Um, and I think you know once you get a chance to really experience it, you feel the immersion. You really get yourself back into that game in ways that you really haven't done yet. Right, so now 3D is happening now with games like Wipeout and the other ones that you mentioned. What's uh, what's kind of kind of in the pipeline for 3D? What kind of games are we going to be seeing? I think the exciting thing is that we've shown we've shown all kinds of different genres of games. I mean, I think it works great with racing without a doubt. I and mean, right. you get a chance to sit in, a, in the cockpit of a, of a GT5 racing sled, put the 3D glasses on, and you really see the undulation of, of the track itself. You get, get a sense of you know how steep some of those curves are and the other racers that are kind of coming at you. Um, and it really helps to lend uh, a really fun environment to, to that game. Killzone 3, same thing. I mean, when you have, you know, missiles rocketing by your head and, you know, you have hell gas right like in your fun. face. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it, it puts you in that battle. It right. really does. So um, I think you're going to see that uh, it's yet, a, yet again another competitive advantage that we have that really shows the power of PlayStation 3. So now if we, if we have a game that's 3D, do we have to, like, do we buy the 3D version or do we just buy a version and play it in 3D if, we, if we're capable or 2D if we're not? Good question, yeah. You know, right out of the gate, we're going to make everything 2D, 3D. Well, not I shouldn't say everything, but any game that's available in 3D will also be playable in 2D as right. well. Um, so if you you know want to buy Killzone 3 or GT5, by all means, if you don't have a 3D TV, you'll enjoy that game the same way as you would any other PS3 game. Um, so it's kind of like an added an added incentive for you. Um, and I think that you know that install base is going to grow as more and more content comes out. So as you see more 3D movies, as you see more broadcast content coming out in 3D, people will start to realize that, uh, hey, maybe this is something that perhaps me and my family would really like to take advantage of. Much in the same way HD is, has really evolved and, and the adoption rate has grown. When it first came out, you might have had that one or two HD stations um, on your channel at home in your box, and right. you know you, you checked out maybe the odd football game or the odd, odd hockey yeah. game, and now you can't live without, <laughs> without HD, and it's hard to even watch movies in standard definition for me and my family anymore. So you get spoiled, and I think 3D is going to probably have that same kind of level of adop adoption rate. Right, so do you have any, uh, any favorite 3D games we should get in there and check out? Uh, you know, actually, I really am a fan of MLB 10, the show. They're going to patch that game in 3D, and for okay. whatever reason, uh, you know, baseball, sports games in general just work so great in 3D. I mean, sitting in that batter's box and seeing a 97 mile an hour fastball coming at you, I mean, you really get a sense of that depth perception. Definitely. You almost cringe and have to get out of the way on some of those ones that are kind of inside, high, and tight. So, um, yeah, I would, I would encourage anybody to try that one first. And the racing games also, MotorStorm Apocalypse is going to be great in 3D. Right, so now, so Sony Computer Entertainment and Sony as a, as a larger whole is, is kind of putting a lot of focus onto 3D. What's the, what's the thought there? It, there's a bit of a long-term vision there, certainly. I mean, we kind of did the same thing with Blu-ray. Um, you know, we, we, we moved and, and, and evolved from DVD to Blu-ray because we knew that the, you know, the added storage size would be so incredibly important to the development of games and also for movies as well, whether it be extra features or what have you. Um, and, you know, and it was part of a long-term vision for PS3, much in the same way 3D is. Um, and all of our consoles have grown and evolved over you know, firmware updates and uh, different functionalities that we've added over years. And I think that this is kind of the cusp. We're sitting right now kind of on year one of 3D, and I think in another three to five years, as we get kind of closer to the end of the PS3 life cycle, you really get a chance to recognize that you know this was a major milestone in kind of where PS3 was going to evolve itself to. Okay, very cool. So that's 3D. It's here now, and there's much more coming soon. Matt, thank you very much. Thank you.